Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome for the first time. I'm Austin Ross. I was a pipeline welder for about eight years. I've been mobile welding in general for about 17 years. In this video, I'm going to share with you a few tips on what to do to fix a burn through on your pipe weld. Without knowing these few tips that I'm about to share with you, it could potentially cost you thousands of dollars. For example, busting a weld test. Making sure you get past your weld test is like the gateway to making sure you make that $35, $45 an hour single hand or uh, four or $5,000 a week with your welding truck if you're pipeline welding. Four times four is 16, that's 16,000 a month. 16 times a three month job, 15 times three is 45. So 48, almost $50,000 that you could lose by busting a weld test over a burn through. I'm just saying, this is some very, very valuable information that I'm fixing to share with you. So listen closely and get ready to learn. Tip number one is whenever you're welding your hot pass and you pop through, either just stop welding or just kind of skip ahead a little bit and continue to go up. That's what I did here. I just left my hole alone rather than trying to fill it up. Over the years of me pipelining, like, the, the longer I pipelined, especially with downhill, I did get to where I could pop through on my hot pass, you know, going downhill versus uphill. You can do it uphill too, but most of my experience was downhill whenever I was pipelining. Whenever you pop through with experience, you can go ahead and use that same rod you're hot passing with and go ahead and fill the hole. Like just go ahead and fill it up. And depending on how it fills up, if it fills up good, a lot of times you can leave it and it'll pass x-ray, but you do take a chance of them calling burn through on you. And the way they can tell on x-ray that you have a burn through is if, you're, is if the wall thickness is thinner in an area. So like on the outside, you might have felt like it went fine, but on the inside, like on main line, you can't see the inside. On some fabrication, you obviously could see on the inside, but where you can't see on the inside, it's a good idea to grind it and push back through it just to make sure, you know, you get your bead in there to make sure you're your weld is as thick as the wall thickness of your pipe because that's how x-ray that's how they're going to be able to see it is they're going to it's going to show that it's thinner where you burned through and they'll call burn through that's tip number one is just to stop welding once it once it happens or just hurry up like if you know you can keep your arc and just kind of jump up here and you know just keep on going number two is stop and let it cool off let it cool off in fact go ahead and finish welding what you don't have welded and let that area cool off go ahead and grind it like I've done here let it cool off some more uh, letting it cool off is is a key factor because from my experience from what I remember when I was pipelining if you try to fix it right away depending on the size of pipe uh, but especially on a small piece of pipe like two inch or three inch this here is three inch and on bottom the more you fool with it if you try to if I would have popped this hole and then just went right to grinding it and right to welding it again, it would have been harder to fix. And it's the more you weld on it, the hotter it gets and the harder it is to fix. All that to say is you spend all that time grinding and welding on it, you're likely to spend as much time, if not more time, than if you would have just waited to let it cool off like I'm doing now, you know. Take a coffee break, you know what I'm saying? Coffee break, water break. So yeah, stop welding, number one. Number two, let it cool off. And then my third tip on fixing a burn through on a pipe weld is to weld uphill. You know, like whenever you go to put your bead back in, weld uphill. That will ensure uh, you're more likely to, to, to beef it up some more. You can do it downhill, you know, practice both. I definitely recommend practicing both. And uh, a couple of bonus tips here, I guess tip four is even if you're practicing at home, leave it in position. I've got this on a rollout wheel, but I'm leaving it in position so I can practice. Getting practice fixing burn throughs on every situation on pipe, on every angle, if you will, like fixing a burn through on the bottom, fixing a burn through on the dead side, fixing a burn through on the top is all great experience. So leaving it in position and practicing fixing burn throughs all the way around is a good, good, good thing to practice. So. Last tip or bonus tip or tip number five I think we're on is if you're running downhill with 6010, this is 7018, but if you're using 6010 like I did on this bead, grind way ahead like I did and then kind of 
get it gradually thinner once you get to your hole. And strike up way up here. Let your rod warm up, drag, drag, drag. And then once you pop in, for one, make sure your rod angle is 90 degrees to the pipe, if not pushing it a little bit, especially in this particular, what would we call that, uh, three, not six, but I guess that'd be four or five o'clock right here. Make sure you're 90 degrees with the pipe, really in all situations, especially burn through can be tough to fix right here at number three too, at three o'clock also. But making sure that your rod is straight in versus leaned back can sometimes help you. And doing little bitty circles or side to side motion or kind of both. But what that does, by going side to side, what that does is give you something to weld to. Because if you just try to stay in the middle, it's not gonna fill up. But whenever you burn through here and you're soaking your rod on the sides, you're actually putting your rod over here into some thick metal so you have something to weld to and then it'll it'll slowly seal up. Keep in mind also this may take a couple of times. You know you'll after your first time of grinding it, run through if it doesn't seal off all the way. Again, let it cool off and then grind it and let it cool off in and then run back through it, you know, seal it off. And you might even want to push on it a third or fourth time. But in between each pass, let it cool off. That is probably the biggest thing that'll help with burning through. And this is even more important, in my opinion, on test day. Staying calm, being patient, and letting it cool off. Letting it cool off, letting your material cool off with stick welding, and especially pipe welding when trying to fix burn throughs, is is probably the number one tip that I learned over my years of pipelining. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have an awesome day. If you're interested in learning more, make sure and check out our online trade school, arosswelding.school. If you're new to rig welding or looking to get into pipeline welding and you haven't built your first welding rig yet, you'll want to check out the quick rig over there on our website, arosswelding.school. And to find the soapstone or anything else you may see me use in any of these videos here on YouTube, check out our other website, arosswelding.com. And remember, learn something every day.